What happens when you get Three Dog Night and Led Zeppelin in the same room? I'm John Bowden from RockHistoryMusic.com. It's one of my favorite questions for artists, especially folks, well, like Chuck Negron, who we're about to talk to, who have been doing this since the late 60s. You know they're going to run into people that they really didn't like at all. Some of them will share that information. The smart ones won't, though, because it just creates a war. But the easy question is, who did you really get along with that you learned stuff about? A little while ago, we had a thing on Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant, talking to Elvis Presley backstage about music for hours when they met. That was a nice story. So I asked Chuck Negron in the late 60s, early 70s, what was it like hanging out and sharing a few shows with Led Zeppelin? They were coming up, we were a little ahead of them. But yeah, we well, actually, the first time we went to London, we were taking pictures and they, they just happened to be driving by on the way to a rehearsal and they stopped and went, hey, and they took us around. So we, you know, we, we got to, we, you know, we got to know them. Although things do change when you become a comp- competition. It's amazing how, it, you know, they, they just change. You're now your competitors. So it's, the, although there's respect and you care, there's that little wall that you see go up. In, you know, in some acts. That wasn't the only show. We, um, when we were doing our stadium shows, uh, we had one stadium in Florida somewhere. Um, actually, I think it was a college stadium. And they, they wanted to get, I mean, our uh, management and Concerts West wanted to get them on board. So somehow they finagled them on the show. Our show was already sold out. And we said, why don't we have them on a show? Well, you know, they might want to do something with you next year. They're interested. You know, they really basically lied to us. And then they got them on the bill. It was a co-bill. A co-bill. And the thing was, the co-bill, we'd already sold the place out. So, you know, that's where management and people, you know, screw you because they're trying to make a deal with their next artist. So, and, and in fact, they did sign them and they did go do the, you know, they did a... a Pretty much what we did, not as many stadium dates as we did, but so we you know, we had work with them a couple of times, and I said we met him in London. The, you know, we became friendly with them. There you go, Led Zeppelin and Three Dog Night together in the same room. Who would have thought? I like to ask artists another question. One of my favorite of going like, what do you do on your downtime? You know, a lot of the times I'm talking to people who have fronted bands in front of 30 to 100,000 fans in the audience. And when the lights are down, I kind of always wonder, like, what's your day look like i i write not only music um but i write i'm a, I'm a writer published writer besides my book i've written for different health magazines the publications and i write on my, i have a blog that i write on many different things that kind of show <clears throat> my um, you know what i'm thinking and what's going on in my in my life uh like this morning i would have taken my 16 year old daughter to school but she's off today so she's She's hanging in her room, and I go to um, lung rehab because of the damage I've done to myself uh, in a car accident and smoking. So, you know, I have lung issues. Um, you know, I have, I have another therapy that I go to uh, twice a week, and you know, so I'm, you know, I, and I work out. I work out three days a week, um, and I'm, you know, doing doing shows here and there this summer I'll, I'll do 50 or 60 but uh yeah i keep you know i keep keep pretty pretty busy and i'm i'm writing i'm writing some short stories for no, for another book which is uh, uh entitled uh, rock and roll a full contact sport yeah so i keep myself uh i keep myself pretty busy you know as long as i'm comfortable <laughs> the fourth edition of chuck degron's book three dog nightmare has been released it has 11 new chapters and you can order it at chucknegron.com. There'll be links in the description of this video. We'll have more from Chuck coming up next Monday. Another clip of our exclusive chat with the former lead singer of Three Dog Night. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. We'd appreciate that. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mm-hmm.